Well, I've got this uh, amplifier all assembled, and I went to power it up for the first time, and uh, I did it with a dim bulb tester that I have over here. Plugged that into the dim bulb tester, and then I plugged it into the uh, Variac, and right now I've just got it plugged into the Variac straight in. Um, I wasn't getting the dim bulb tester uh, going off, so I don't think there's any issues with the... Uh, uh, the amplifier in that regards. Um, so what happened was uh, I redid all of the uh, the board with uh, semiconductors, all new semiconductors, transistors and uh, diodes and all that stuff. And I uh, and that's the PC uh, 36 board. And I also did the uh, capacitors, uh, changed out all the capacitors to, uh, to newer uh, updated ones. Uh, amplifier was working when I uh, when I got it, and I just wanted to uh, modernize it a bit and upgrade it, and, you know, because given the age of, the, of, every, of everything, I wanted to uh, improve it. So I uh, had done this before, um, so I had, and with limited success, <laughs> so I wanted to have a take two, and uh, lo and behold, I assembled everything. And when I started dialing up the rheostat, I started getting smoke. And the smoke was actually coming in from, it seemed originally to come up from here, but I think it was coming underneath a little bit of a draft in here. So I've been trying to actually determine what uh, component has been smoking. All the resistors check out on this side. This is the left channel. And uh, I can't see the smoke emanating from any of the transistors directly. Uh, it seems almost to be coming from this uh, bias trim pot here. Um, so I don't know if uh, I did give it a little bit of shot of uh, D5. So, you know, I don't know if that maybe have caused some little bit of uh, smoking or whatever. But uh, uh, anyway, um, I'm going to see if I can repeat it here. So I've got the rheostat for the Variac, sorry, uh, plugged in. And... Uh, I've got the power turned on on the amplifier here. There you go. And then I've got power to the Variac. And what I originally started about 39 volts and then it started at 70 volts. And it has been repeatable so far, but uh, I don't know if I've killed anything here. Uh, all the fuses are intact. So I'm going to dial it up here. Give it some voltage and see if we can see where the smoke is coming from. Figure out what actually is is. Uh, and as soon as it starts smoking, I turn it down. So that's why it's been repeatable, I guess. Uh, I may have actually killed it by now. I've done it a couple of times. Oh, there we go. See the smoke starting? Oh, there we go. So it was coming down from. I don't know where, and I just can't see any burnt out components at all. I'm not going to stick my fingers in there. Let's see. Is the resistor? No. I think the resistors all check out, so I'm going to wait till uh, the uh, caps bleed off. I've got it all measured out and uh, go in there. This one is actually a little bit more violent because I took the dim bulb tester out of it and I jarred it up a bit. Let's see if Get it, get it going again here. I may have killed it this time. There it is. See? Anyway, not sure what the heck. So that's the last I'm going to do it because uh, I don't want to push my luck and I've probably killed a few components there. Who knows? So, if anybody has any ideas where, what I should be checking here, I've checked the boards, I've checked all the orientation of all of the, uh, all of the uh, semiconductors, and everything checks out with the, uh, and I actually measured them up with the uh, emitter, uh, collector, and base on all different ones, because they were all in different orientations, and I've doubled and triple checked everything that they're set up correctly. Uh, also, the capacitors, or yeah, the caps, they're oriented correctly with the positive terminals and the negative terminals for the, uh, the polarized caps. 
and only the right side. So I've been sort of looking left, comparing left to right side, and making sure everything is oriented uh, the same. And I've looked at the back of the board. Um, let's just put a voltmeter on here. Let's see how my draining. I'm going to turn the power off. Power's off on the variac. Just see what I've got for a. Yeah, I'm still at. Uh, what's some millivolts now? Yeah. That one. Millivolts. So yeah, that's good. It's drained down. So I'm just going to touch the edge here. But if you look at the back, I've actually looked at the back and and. Uh, you know, I don't see any solder splashes. It seems to be uh, quite clean. I've oriented all the wires. I numbered all the wires when I put everything back. And it's all exactly the way it was. So, anyway, that's where I'm at. Any ideas? Please send them along. Thank you.